so in this video we're going to talk about tuples and sets in python so first of all let's just talk about tuples first of all tuples are ordered immutable collections in python so tuples are ordered that means tuples maintain the order of the elements and each item can be accessed by its index and also tuples are immutable collection that means once we create one tuple elements in a tuple cannot be modified and also tuples has the fixed length that means the length of a tuple is fixed at the creation and because of this this is suitable for storing data that does not need to change so let's now see how we can create one tuple so to create the tuple like t1 we can use the parenthesis now inside the parenthesis we can have multiple data items like one two three four and so on now to access any item of the tuple we can use indexing so because the indexing starts from zero so to select the first item we're gonna use the index zero now if we print this so here we have the first element from the tuple because tuples are immutable so if we try to modify the first element so this will throw error so if we run this so here you can see we have the error so let's now talk about few of the methods of the tuples so in tuple we have the count method so this method counts the occurrence of a specified value like in example we can pass the value 1 t1 dot count and then we can pass the value 1 and if we print the count so suppose we have two ones in the tuple now if we run this so here we have the output so we have two ones in our tuple and also we have the index method so index method will return the index of a specified value so if we wanted to know the index of the value 2 in our tuple so for this we can use t1 dot index and then we pass the value 2 now this will return the index of the value 2 so if we print this so it should return the index 1 so here we have the index 1 so these are the few methods offered in tuple so we are done with tuples let's now talk about sets in python so set is a unordered collection of unique elements so the set is unordered that means the elements do not maintain any particular order because of that we cannot use indexing or slicing on a set and also in a set we have all the unique elements so the set will automatically discard any duplicate values so let's now create one set suppose we are creating set s1 so to create the set we use curly braces now inside the curly braces we can pass our values of the set now there are couple of methods that we can use like an example we can use the add method so s1 dot add and we can add one new value like 10 now if we print the set s1 and you can see 10 is added at the end of our set now if we try to add any duplicate values suppose we try to add one which is already in our set so now if we run this so you can see we have the set as earlier so that duplicate one is not added to the set now to remove elements from the set we have couple of methods like an example we can use the remove method so this method will remove one element and it will not raise any error if the element is not present like an example if we remove the value 1 from our set so we have to use s1 dot remove and then we have to pass the value that we wanted to remove from the set now if we run this so you can see one is removed from the set now we have only four elements this way also we have the discard method so the discard method also removes one element without any error if the element does not exist in the set so we can call this using s1.discard and then we can pass the value that we wanted to remove and this way also we have the pop method so the pop method will remove and return any arbitrary element so we have to call s1.pop and this will remove and return 
one element from the set so we can store the value in a variable and now if we print the value so here one is removed from the set and after the removal we have all the other elements left in our set so this way we can create the set and sets are ideal for collections that require unique items like in example we can create unique IDs or tags so with the help of this set we can perform efficient operations and in case of tuples so the tuples are faster to iterate than the list and because of this they are ideal when performance is very crucial and also the tuples are very useful in case of storing fixed length values the values that should not change during the execution so hope you understand about tuples and sets in python see you in the next one take care